All right, thank you for tuning in. Uh, for those of you that don't know me, I'm Mario. So um, I'm currently a mathematics teacher, but I'm also learning computer science. So we're actually going to do a um, a problem right here where we were asked to write a program that um, if the student scores above 90, including 90, assign a grade of A. And if a student scores uh, 75, and above, uh, that will be B. And the students who uh, score 65 and above, they'll get a grade of C. And anyone who got a lower statement, um, they will just have to retake the class, unfortunately. So I put um, I put the conditions right here, um, just so we can see. And then we're gonna make a program that can do this. So this is a Python practice problem, which is a programming language. Take a few take about, I don't know, like four minutes to do it, pause the video, and then come back for the solution. Okay, now that you pause the video, uh, I'm gonna show you the solution. Okay, so the first thing you need is make sure you have a compiler. So you guys can go to the program mic.com, and this one is just uh, online. Uh, you don't need to install anything, and it can run the program for you. So for example, if you wanna put print hello world it will print it for you there it is execution there's your input that's your output uh, the quotation just means it's a string or it's just a a sentence all right so let's go to um the actual problem that we a program that we need to do so if statements is a boolean so we need to create uh, a condition, right? So it says, uh, if a student scores above 90, assign a grade of A. So we're gonna start with this one first. So let's go to our compiler. Uh, we need to get an input from the user. So to get an input from the user, let's label the variable score. Score equals to, um, it could be an integer, and it can be a float like, 92.8 that's fine so we're gonna we need an input from the user right uh, but because it could be a float or an integer so we're gonna put we're gonna modify it and we're gonna put float okay so float means that we are modified in the input from the user okay so we're gonna open quotations more we're gonna ask the user what is your score Okay, put a question mark in space. You want to leave a space so that the user can write the input. And then if you want to test it, you can just put print and then score. Um, what that, that will do is it will print the score that the user has input. So let's run it. What is your score? Let's say they score 90. Boom, they got a 90, right? But we don't want that. Okay, that's not the problem. You are to assign a grade of A if they get 90. So let's put a conditional statement to that. So we're going to say if that's a Boolean, right? If score is greater than or equals to 90 and we put a column here, then what? Then I want you to print um, your grade is an A. So let's do that. What's your score? Let's put 91. The grade is an A. Okay, perfect. And let's test it again with 90. Okay, and if we put 80, you should get no output because we don't have any conditions for that. All right, so now we're gonna do, so the first conditional statement is done. Now let's do the next one here. If student scores above 75, including 75, we're gonna assign a grade of a B. Perfect. So conditional, so we can do if again, or we can do uh, else if. So else if is abbreviated like this. Else if score is, greater than or equals to, what was it, 75? 
yeah, 75. Okay, 75. Then we're going to give them a gray of um, B. Okay, so we're gonna do your gray is a B. Now, if you, this, this is actually fine, but let me show you. Okay, so like, let's say you get, you give them 91. A, right? So it's going to go, uh, what Python is doing, it's going to do this first, and then it's going to do this one also after. So like if this is false, it's going to come down here. All right, so... Uh, so let's see, let's do 80. Now your gray is, is a B, okay? So this is actually working. You could also um, done something like this if you wanna be a little more, uh, you can put it uh, in between. So you can say, um, go like this, greater than a 75 and score is less than 90, meaning not including 90. So you can do it like this too, and it will still be good as well. So like if you can put 88, you still get it. Whichever solution you like, it's um, acceptable. I probably would just leave, leave this one, okay? All right, so now we still have to do another, I think it's two conditions. Yeah, so the 65, anything below 65. So including 65, you'll get a C. And anything below 65, uh, we're going to put a message, please retake the class. Okay, unfortunately, they have to retake it. F score is greater than or equals to 65. Uh, we're going to give them, we're going to print a message, and we're going to say your, your grade is... A C. So let's put like 70 and see if it does work. The gray is a C. Perfect. Now let's do the last one. To finalize this um, booleans here, you can put else column, press enter. So if they didn't get any of those chords, right? If they didn't get any of those chords, then that means that they're going to get the message to retake the class. So else, um, the score is less than 65, right? Not including 65. Um, then we're going to give them a message. Please uh, retake the class. Okay. And let's see if that works. So anybody who got like a, let's say like 60, Please retake the class, unfortunately. And then let's do like a 65. 65 is good. They pass. Okay. Uh, let's do 64. And you can do uh, like like 64.5. Uh, nope. Unfortunately, you have to get at least 65. So 65 and above. Um, and then up to 74.99. Uh, that would get a B. And then anything above, uh, let me see. So anything above 90, including 90, you get an A. Anything above 75, including 75, you get a B. And anything above 65, including 65, they'll get a C. This is it. That's the solution. I hope you guys find it helpful. Uh, let me know if you have questions in the comment and post your solution as well. Coders can uh, benefit from your solution. So this is that there could be a, another solution not just this one i'll see you guys in the next video and i hope you guys enjoy it and let me know your thoughts about python python is a programming language and i hope you guys have fun doing this um this program i'll see you guys in the next video